tennis spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Viewer request. Um, I had a viewer ask me to compare the Clash 100 Tour versus the Clash 98. So, my own story behind these two rackets, I was a little torn uh, myself when I was, um, when these first came out. You know, first it was the 100 that I thought I liked, but as soon as I played with the tour a little longer, uh, I said, yeah, the weight, I gotta, I gotta have the weight because I'm gonna be customizing it more anyway. So um, the extra weight was definitely uh, the key for me. And so after I played with it for, I would say four to six months, Wilson came out with the 98, All right? So I tried it out and I was like, this kind of feels just like this with a little bit more control. Just, just a little, just a little. The rackets actually felt very, very similar. I mean, it was just, just a little less power than, uh, than the tour. You know, but by then I was already four months or whatever into that racket and, you know, changing was going to be just a little more difficult. I'm a little older now. The extra two square inches is going to help me a little more. So that's why I decided just to stick with the, the Hunter Tour, um, which is now called the Hunter Pro, as you guys know from previous video. So I'm going to weigh balance and talk about these, um, right now. All right, let's go. At the scale. This particular Hunter Tour is 321.5 on the weight. And then the 98. Yeah, 327.5. You're supposed to start at the same weight at uh, 10.8, 10.9. So, as we all know, Wilson has pretty extreme variances in these frames. Swing weight of the 100 Tour. Three two six. Swing weight of the ninety eight. Three two two. Balance these out. Let's see where it's clocking in at. Three one five. 315 millimeters on the tour. On the 98. And they're both um, three eights. Three one one, three eleven millimeters. Let's double check. Nope, they're both three eighths. That's right. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's sum it. All right. So, the hundred tour clash 
has a 24.5 millimeter beam. All right. The 98 has just a 24 millimeter beam all the way around. So just a hair more power in this one. Um, they both have the same flex though. They're both 55. All right. So they're both ultra soft rackets when you, you know, throw it on the RA machine that I don't have. Um, so my data that I just took, the 98 is slightly heavier by six grams at 327.5, um, the 100 clocked in at 321.5. Now, the swing weight, the 100 had a slightly higher swing weight at 326 compared to 322 on the 98. Um, the balance, 315 on the 100, 311 on the 98. So, head heavier on the 100 little head lighter on the 98. Now, that could be just these particular two rackets. Um, if we were to test a bunch of these out, you'll see variances in these. I mean, the quality control on these things aren't the greatest. So in my mind, if you're looking for just a little more power, um, Maybe you came from a Juice Ultra 100, Pure Drive, um, Pure Arrow, uh, go with the 100. If you're coming from a Blade, uh, Strike, go with the 98. Uh, you know, it's just a little more control, just a little more control on that 98. But like I said, I needed the little bit more power, so I went with the 100, all right? If you have any questions regarding either one of these two, uh, shoot me a comment. Uh, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.